Wow, this is so offensive. What's going on guys, Pixelator here, back at it again with another review. Today we are looking at not a pair of shoes, but a sneaker meme about sneaker YouTubers that went viral on a sneaker subreddit. And I gotta say, some of this stuff is very accurate, like it's scary. I know we do a lot of sneaker reviews on here, so I wanted to switch it up a bit. A little backstory, I know you guys are itching to see what I'm talking about. A user who goes by the name of Super Shogun posted to the sneaker subreddit that all of us sneakerheads know. Come on, we're a small community, but we know about the sneaker subreddit. It's the one place we all go to when our favorite sneaker tubers are filming and editing before they upload. Now I don't know if Super Shogun made it or not, but he posted it, so shout out to you Super Shogun. He posted this meme right here. I guess you could call it a meme, it's the sneaker YouTuber starter pack, and I'm going to review and dissect this and just see how accurate it is. Let's start from the top down. Video starts in asterisk. Okay, this is true. The video does start. Kudos to you. You got that. Part two. Hey, what's up, guys? In all caps, all bold. Pretty much indicating how we start our intros. Okay, fair. Yes, we do greet the viewers. PixFam, you know I'm polite to y'all. So you got that right too, sir. Two for two so far. You're hitting 100%. The most perfect batting average ever so far. Part three. Paid promotion for Jason Mark. Crep Protect. Rejuvenator. Pretty much they're saying it takes over 80% of the video and then you get the actual review for the sneakers in the title and a baby outro. Yeah, okay, well, I haven't done one of these yet, so I guess I'm in the clear for that. Damn, dude, you were going 100% straight down to 66% with one miss. See how big of a difference that one miss can make? Moral of the story, stats suck. Stay out of school, kids. I'm just kidding, stay in school. Education is key. Part four, now we have the meme of the guy looking at the other girl where he's looking at hyper releases and it says Supreme over him and then there's the girl that's being neglected, the literally every other sneaker, pretty much indicating that we only go for the hype releases and every other sneaker gets left behind. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this is partially true. If you've been watching my videos, you know I'm not big into Supreme at all. Their hype doesn't phase me. So the Supreme part of that meme is discredited for me, but I do get where you're coming from. There are sneaker tubers that do that. There are some things I like of Supreme when they do collab tees with legendary artists that I'm a fan of like Nas, Dipset, etc. But you know, sometimes I gotta collect my hype coin and clout coins and go for those limited hype releases like Yeezy 350 V2s, even though they're not that limited anymore. Part five, I actually laughed when I first saw this because it's so accurate, the Under Armour hover and pretending to like them because Under Armour sent me a pair. Guys, these shoes, are actually comfortable. Like I've been sent pairs from Under Armour before this and to be honest I kind of knocked myself in the head for giving them favorable reviews because these are way better than those. Hover Tech blows old Under Armour shoes out of the water not just some recent shoes. So I see why it would come off like they had favorable reviews because I or another shoe tuber got these sent to them but they're actually really good freaking shoes. Try them on and you'll see what I'm talking about. Like I'm not getting paid to say this guys. Getting free shoes doesn't mean I'm just gonna praise your product. Anyways on to the next. All right, part six, back at you again with another. <sighs> What's going on guys, Pixelator here, back at it again with another review. Back at it, back at it again with another review. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess I do that on occasion or every video or whatever. All right, part seven, channel name is a pun play on words of soul or kicks. Hmm, Pixelated, Pixelated, Pixelated. All right, part eight, I just buy what I like, and it's a picture of a bunch of Yeezys. Okay, to be honest, I do buy what I like as a sneaker YouTuber. Sometimes you have to buy shoes to review that you're not into, and it's not easy because we're putting up our own hard-earned money to review a shoe we don't like, which we then might not end up being able to sell. It's it's a little bit of a mixed bag because you have the rich sneakerheads that buy literally every shoe or literally every hype shoe for resale, and then you have the regular sneakerheads who try to buy shoes for retail, and it's really hard to balance the two because, you know, as a sneaker YouTuber, your whole goal is to build a community who enjoys your content and you can interact with and we all get to talk and discuss sneakers to build a community you need more people watching your videos so sometimes it makes sense to buy what's popping and which also ends up being in the hype category even if we don't like it so we try to do the most with what we got all right part nine mystery sneaker in the thumbnail yep guilty as charged gotta keep some of the excitement going right do you like spoiling surprises too come on son moving on part 10 mountain of shoe boxes in the background you know what as you can see i'm not as big a culprit of this as most people are so ha but i can see why that happens them boxes take up a hell of a lot of space man so if you're not using them for your background what are you gonna do 
part 11 i'm just going to group these together it has a uh, please subscribe leave a like and then it has how to turn off caps lock for youtube title on the google search yes i ask you guys to subscribe and leave a like too as do most youtubers and just for the video i'm going to try to avoid doing those previous things just to see if you guys get irritated or not <laughs> although i've probably already done most of these things on the list truthfully when i first read this i started laughing at how accurate it was and i realized that a lot of these things other youtubers in other categories do as well that's right we like to introduce ourselves to our viewers and start on an energetic note because we want it to transfer over to you i promise you you'll find tech channel names that are puns or plays on tech words as well if not most channels that aren't just the person's name it's a part of being creative and branding we want you guys to subscribe and leave a like because it helps this community that we're a part of grow and flourish and then with the back at it again with another review all right you got me on that one Anyways, I had a lot of fun with this meme. I even gave y'all a clickbait title to go with it. Let me know what you thought about the sneaker YouTuber starter pack in the comments and Pixelated is out.